Hey guys, Ruben here, the mentor, and today we are in the studio again, very messy studio today. I'm going to show you how to turn any keyboard you have, a digital panel or even a keyboard, into a MIDI controller. So here I have a Korg SB170DX, and right here I have a Korg PA50, a very old keyboard model. So what you really need to turn them into MIDI controllers is a USB, I mean a MIDI to USB cable, which looks something like this. All right. And basically, I'm uh, just going to show you that to you. So they have MIDI cables and a USB. So MIDI to USB, MIDI to USB. All right. So very simple. Basically, we have in and out on the cable. And on your keyboard here, you have MIDI outs. So MIDI outs into the MIDI ins of the cable. All right. So I'm going to put in MIDI out from the keyboard to MIDI ins of the cable. And basically, the USB goes into your computer. I'm just going to put, plug it into the computer. That's it. All right. So now, when you play on your keyboard, there's going to be sound from the digital panel, right? So you can turn off the volume knob, and you can see that I have. I'm controlling my DAW as a MIDI controller now. Right? I can't play this on this position, but you can see it's running there. All right. Now, that's the digital piano. Now, what about the keyboard? Same thing as well. I'm going to plug this off just from the keyboard. Just crawling back right here. All right. So on the keyboard itself, we have MIDI through, MIDI out, and MIDI in. So same thing as well. The MIDI outs, you're going to plug in the outs into the MIDI ins of your cable. So right here, get it right. There you go. And that's all. So, on the keyboard here, you can see that we have our master volume, which has sound, right? So you can turn off the master volume and use it as a MIDI controller. Also, your modulation uh, dials here, the wheels, and also the pitch band can be used together with the keyboard. So your DAW should register the here, all this uh, modulation and pitch, and also the pedals, like sustain pedals if you have. And so, you can see, when I play on the keyboard, no latency as well. It's working on on the DAW. All right, and that's how you basically create um, any keyboards into a MIDI controller. So if you have any old keyboards or digital panel lying around, you can always turn them into a uh, MIDI controller with just a cable. Now this cable here, if you want the exact one, I found this on Amazon and basically this is uh, not expensive but very workable, no latencies to your DW and if you want to buy the exact same model and the cable that I have right here, I put the description down below. So that's how you change a keyboard into a mini controller. Thanks for watching.